Hey y'all, this is James with West Tennessee Living, and today I want to talk about my Atlas 40 volt electric chainsaw. This thing is sweet, and I want to show you how it works. All right, so there's a couple of things I want to mention right away. Um, I've, I've watched chainsaw reviews on YouTube, and nobody wants to sit there and watch 15 minutes of just cut after cut after cut after cut after cut. <laughs> so I just went ahead and cut my telephone pole in half, um, just so you could you know see it actually work, um, you know, in someone's hand. Uh, a couple of things I want to say. Um, I had a Husqvarna chainsaw. I sure as sure I'm not knocking Husqvarna chainsaws. I, I liked them. Uh, I had one, I bought it used, and uh, I don't I don't do chainsaw stuff for a living. Um, you know, I'll do uh, I do land clearing, which obviously having a chainsaw on hand is nice. But uh, you know, I'll cut some trees down, cut some limbs for some old ladies or something like that. You know, I don't it's, it's not my 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 uh, way of living. Um, so I don't use a chainsaw. I'm not a lumberjack, so I'm not saying this replaces a gas chainsaw in any way shape or form so don't don't think i'm being that guy but i will say this i had my husqvarna uh, i'd use it i'd have to crank my guts out to get the darn thing started and uh you know once it was started it would it would run pretty decent you know uh, if you ever had to cut something and put it down move the log with the tractor you'll come get the chainsaw back out uh it's just, it's just not it's not real convenient i don't want to leave the chainsaw running i sure as heck don't want to shut it off because then i have to get it started back again and it was just a hassle. It was, there was nothing about doing chainsaw stuff was fun for me. Y'all may love it, and that's totally fine. I'm not, you know, you, you do you, okay? But uh, I don't use chainsaw, you know, like, like professionals do. I do need a chainsaw, uh, but I don't want the hassle of having a gas one. Um, you put it up for a year, then you got to clean carburetors. And, and you know, I, there, hey, there's people been doing it for centuries. So uh, I'm not saying any of that's impossible. I'm the guy who has a chainsaw in the back of his truck. If you need to cut something, I whip it out, cut it, put it back in the truck, and don't. I don't really want to think about it. I don't want to waste my time uh, keeping up with one. So this right here, you pop a battery in it, and uh, you start cutting, and that's it. I mean, it's you know trigger pull, and you can set it down, go about your business, pick it right back up. Oh, I got one more limb to cut. Get it back out, put it down, and you're not hearing it whining stuff. So. I, that, that's, that's where I'm at with this. Um, I will say this, I was doing some property clearing around, uh, uh, around my personal property here just a few weeks ago and I had a buddy come out. He had a huge chainsaw. I don't, I don't know how, it, it was, I would say it's almost twice the size of this. It was huge. And we was out here cutting trees and he was cutting some big ones. I was cutting some big ones with this. I really wanted to see what it would do. And this thing kept up with his hand in hand. I mean, it was right there alongside Whenever he ran out of gas, that's when my battery went dead. So I know everybody's probably wanting to know um, what's the battery life like on it. <clears throat> um, in my opinion, it's very, very good. <laughs> this here lasted an entire tank of fuel with my buddy's chainsaw, and we was cutting the same amount of stuff. Uh, so what I would do and what I'm going to do, I want to buy a second battery. So while that one's charging, when it goes dead, I pull the other one out. I keep going while that one's charging, and I think it would keep up just fine for what I do. Now you go out and you know, you're clearing 40 acres and you're cutting trees all day, probably not. But for what I use it for, 
I think this is an absolutely great option. Uh, it's an Altus uh, 40, uh, 40 volt lithium chainsaw. Now what I did, I bought this battery. This is actually an 80 volt battery. Um, that stuff works in both of them. And I don't know if you could tell in that first clip of cutting or not what, uh, what that does. This here has a low mode. It, it cuts slow and as soon as it feels like it gets in a, a load, it kicks up. It actually ramps up almost like it, it throttles up just about. And uh, what it does, what the, at the lady at Harbor Freight told me that the 80 volt will actually, it doesn't give you any more power, but it does give you longer life. It gives you more run time. So if you used this battery and the 80 volt chainsaw, you would probably have less run time. I'm just assuming. Uh, but this here, uh, the 80 volt battery and the 40 volt chainsaw kicks butt. I'll share with you my very first experience with this chainsaw. Uh, I was doing a, uh, a walkway for a guy. I used my little tractor and I cut out a four foot ditch and I'm going to post some pictures of it here. Uh, he wanted to put cross ties across and fill it in with gravel. And I don't remember how many it was, but it, it had, I think it was like 30 some cross ties that I hauled out there and we had to cut. I bought this chainsaw like the day before. I pulled the battery out of the box, never charged it or anything. I put it in the thing, or I put it in the saw, and I, I'm, I'm not lying. <laughs> I cut almost 30 railroad cross ties with this chainsaw out of the box. The battery had four bars on it, and by the time I was done, it, it went down to one, one bar. I cut 30 railroad cross ties. Every one of those cross ties in the picture that you just saw was cut with this chainsaw. It was for... Uh, he's a preacher buddy of mine. He's a Presbyterian preacher, and so you can ask him. He knows I ain't lying. Uh, we got this out. We did the whole job with this very chainsaw, and uh, I mean, it just it, it cut through like butter. It, just, it totally blew me away. He's a Presbyterian preacher, and he got excited. <laughs> uh, this thing, it, I mean, it, it was out of the box like that. Now, uh, after that, when I was cutting limbs around the property here, I noticed you know it wasn't quite cutting like butter much anymore. So I put a new chain on it, went down to my, my local hardware store and you know had, had a chain for it at, at my local place. It's not like it's a special chain or anything. Um, picked up a chain, slapped it on there, and this very pole barn that we're standing under, I built this uh, pole barn that week, and I've got 14 six by six uh, posts here. I put them all in the ground, and I went to the top and I cut all 14 posts, brand new chain, the, uh, the battery at that time went from four bars to three after cutting 14 six by six pressure treated posts. Uh, and it, it, it never failed. Cut them like butter. Um, you, then after that, uh, me and my buddy was out here clearing trees and stuff. This thing kept up right behind his gas powered chainsaw. When he ran out of gas, this battery went dead. We was cutting side by side. Uh, I wish I had some video of it, but I don't. Uh, so th this thing here, I'm not saying throw your gas chainsaws away and you know use these for a living i'm not saying that at all I'm just telling you my personal experience i absolutely love this chainsaw bought it at harbor freight uh at the time they had a deal going where you you, you build your own bundle i want to say the chainsaw was like 180 bucks uh the charger was 30 dollars and the battery was 100. so y'all do the math that's uh, 100 150 and 30 so basically 280 I think with taxes around 300 bucks um, I don't know what a gas powered chainsaw brand new costs I I, I don't know I don't really care um, I wanted something electric I wanted something quick something easy this has zero maintenance the, it does have a fill here where you put your your own oil in you know that's pretty standard but other than that there is absolutely no maintenance with this uh, I just cut that telephone pole, had this battery charged, I don't know, two weeks ago. We just had uh, a massive freeze come through. It's been, you know, zero, uh, zero degrees with like a 20 mile an hour wind chill. It got really, really cold. I didn't do anything to this battery. I literally got it out of my toolbox, put it in, and it keeps charged really, really well. Uh, I am super impressed with this chainsaw. I highly recommend it. Another thing, uh, at Harbor Freight, you can get the warranty uh, plan with this. And I don't know how familiar you are with Harbor Freight. This year I have it, I think, I wanna say it's like three years, cost me an extra $30. If there is anything wrong with this saw, matter of fact, even if there isn't anything wrong with the saw, if you wanna be that kind of a guy, you take this saw into Harbor Freight and say, you know, 
I don't like it. Uh, the rubber is peeling off. Whatever. They replace it for free. No questions asked. Um, if this little rubber here is cut, you say, hey, that, that, that rubber is falling off the handle. I want a new one. They won't ask you any questions. They will replace it. So I, I promise after three years, I'm pretty hard on stuff. After three years, there's going to be something wrong with this chainsaw. Uh, I can guarantee it will be. <laughs> and they will offer you a brand new chainsaw. So the, the warranty, and I, I've used that warranty before with some of their electric pressure washers and other things. So great product. Take a chance on it. I mean, I, I, I did, and I absolutely love it. I also have the 40-volt uh, weed whacker. Use it all summer. I'll probably be doing a review on that whenever grass starts to grow again. Uh, but yeah, this is the Altus 40 volt lithium brushless electric Saint chainsaw. It's got a, a 16 inch bar. I don't know if you can see that 40 volt 16 inch chain, and uh, I, I I think it's great. Um, that's my review on it. Go check it out for yourself. Again, this is James with West Tennessee Living. I sure appreciate you watching the video. If you don't mind, if uh, you care about seeing any more videos kind of like this. Uh, hit like and uh, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, Y'all take it easy and we'll see you in the next video.